Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use labels. Labels are things that we put in Moodle basically just to separate the material that, that you've provided for your learners. Um, instead of just having in one unit every assignment and every PowerPoint and everything that, that you'd want your student to use just kind of dumped in there, uh, labels can really help organize and make the, uh, the Moodle look nicer and, and make it more user-friendly, if you will. Another thing Moodle can do is it's, it's where you would embed things. So, for example, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed a game uh, using a site called Quizlet, and I'm going to show you how to embed a YouTube video. Okay? Now, before we get started, um, if you notice, I'm working in collapsed mode. I've collapsed the, the Moodle, so I just have one unit up, that Asia unit I created in the last video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn editing on, just like I normally would. I have the option to add a resource or add an activity. And as I said before, um, a resource is anything you give a student, a Word document, a PowerPoint, so on and so forth. Activity is anything a student gives you as a teacher, so a quiz, a forum, chat, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go to resource, and I'm going to click insert a label. Now when I do that, I'm going to go get back to an HTML editor. Now, as we said before, you want to think of this as kind of like a textbook. Your unit name should be the largest thing in a given uh, topic bar, and then your labels or your subheadings should be just smaller than that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this, um, uh, let's, let's just call it um, Asia Lesson. Now I can leave this over to the left. You can center line it again. It's it's however you want, whatever you'd like to do with it. I'm going to change it to 14 because that's just slightly smaller than the 18 I used for the unit. And I'm going to change the text color to uh, another color that would go with green. Since we're talking uh, Limburg here, I'm going to change it to gold, just like that. Okay. Now again, I can do that trick where I toggle my um, HTML on and I can copy that code and, and have the same label all the way through. In this case, I'm not going to do that. Now, I'm going to do another thing, and I'll explain to you why I'm doing this in just a moment. I'm going to give myself a little space here, go back up here, and this line, when I click on that, that'll create a line right here, and I'll explain what that's for in just a moment. I'm just going to click Save and Return to Course, Now I can see I have this label, Asia Lesson. Now before I do that, um, with units, I like to put a, a useful material um, label in here. Actually, I'm going to go do that real quick. I'm going to insert a label. I'm going to change this to 14. I'll change this to that shade of gold that I had before. Okay. Save and return to course. Now this is out of order. Whenever you add something to Moodle, it automatically puts it at the bottom of whatever topic that you, you've added it to. So I'm going to use my crosshairs and drag it up top here. Wait for the line to show up just like that. Now, under useful material, I can put like a unit outline, I can put PowerPoints. We're going to use this more later. But this line right here separates whatever items I have with my useful material from my Asia lesson. That's why those lines are important. Now, I can keep doing this over and over and over again, and I can continue to add lessons all the way through the unit, um, as many of them as I want. And within these labels, I can put my specific things, like my Word documents, um, the glossaries, the, the different things that you want the students to interact with. Again, it's just a way to keep it separated. As we go forward, um, this will look a little bit clearer once we start adding um, things to, to Moodle. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to embed a game. Uh, a review game. Um, students like using this uh, to when they review for quizzes and tests and such. I'm going to go back to insert a label. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle this HTML on. Okay, it changes it to, now it's going to read code. 
Now the neat thing about this is anything, any site, any item that has this embed code as this game does and as this YouTube uh, page does allows me to embed it directly into Moodle which is which is a really nice thing. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to grab this, click on it, in this case copy, I'm going to come back over here, I'm going to paste it. Now before I show you, let me show you what this game does. Uh, what this is is just a basic matching game. I'm matching a, a term with a definition. Okay, so I have just different uh, definitions and terms and such out here. The students would take these and just uh, match them with one of the one of the uh, definitions here. We don't want to get into it because for time reasons. So I have my game here. I have my HTML code embedded in there. I'll turn this off, and as you can see, the game now exists directly in Moodle. I'll save and return to course, and there's the game. If I wanted to play the game right here as a student, I just click start game. I wouldn't have to go anywhere else. It's a little compact, but as you can see, I can I can play the the game here. And I there we go. There's Mao Zedong, and it disappears. Excuse me, it goes, it moves. Okay. Let's go ahead and add another label. But this time I'm going to embed YouTube. So just as I did before, I'm going to toggle this HTML on. I'll go to my YouTube video that I have. I'll click embed. It gives me the code here. Copy. Paste. put it in there and as you can see the YouTube video appears. I'll scroll down here, click save and return to course. Now I have my game and my YouTube video and I can play it from right here. So it's kind of neat. One caution against embedding uh, a bunch of videos and games and things of that you look, my topic bar is really stretched out all the way down to here. I don't even have any assignments, resources, or anything else like that beyond the video, the game, and the picture, and just these two labels. So feel free to use it however you like, just something to keep in mind as you're adding these items using label.